we have three goals for this episode to beat the ember grounds to unlock the well and to unlock a radiant aura and all three can be accomplished with the cleric at ember grounds so that's where we're going already much tougher at the start Oof, so much damage Um, I think this to the right here is the well keeper. So that's where I'm headed. I might still have to choose in strength. I might still have to play first level. Another mortal soul. I beg of you, release me from this wretched cage. The key must be somewhere nearby. Let's see if we can find that key. Hmm, what is this? What same pages? From its lithic corpus, the ember eye was passed through many burning hands. Now, it's resting on an obsidian slab, gazing at the crumbled body it once inhabited. To release its power against the Lord of Regret, one must bring. It's gonna bring the ember eye back. So, gotta find the key and the ember eye. And to remember where these places are. That's probably gonna be the toughest for me, but we shall see. Let's not immediately curse ourselves. Alright, attack speed, definitely. And in the meantime, we're passively gaining enough experience for the Radiant Aura, so we should get that at some point. Uh, let's see. Probably pick up. And by the way, I genuinely love this game. Like, I have a, I have a hard time showing emotion sometimes, but I genuinely love this game. It's so much fun. Okay. Area seems good for this hero. I'm pretty sure that the area is the cone size of the swordsman and the cleric. There might be another hero, but those appear to be the two. At least so far. Pick up range doing some work. Oh, the key. I see the key. We just mad dash to the key. Uh, attack speed. Yeah, well is top priority. Because as soon as we get well, we can start getting some equipment. So this is basically just a well run, and then once I get a little bit stronger, I'll go hard on uh, actually finishing the Ember Grounds, but for now, let's just focus on the Well Keeper. Hmm. What was Force again? I think Range here. I read it last time, and I don't remember oh and by the way this is like this is a fun series for me but it's almost like torture and here's why the last one i'm only i'm only playing this on recording i'm not playing this offline this is like a lot of fun but I'm, i want to record everything right the last one took three days to upload so i've been genuinely waiting for three days to play this again so it's fun, but I almost want to do shorter videos just so I can play more often. But like, as you can see, I have no problem just spending like a few hours just like playing nothing but this game for like a few hours. A lot of fun. Okay, did I pass the key? Let's do area. Oh, about to die, about to die. Let's 
see if we can beat this boss. And strength, definitely. I'm not sure if I picked up the key or not. So I don't know. I saw it on the screen, but I don't really remember picking it up. Uh, let's see, crit chance. Oh, uh, it's down here. Let's finish this boss first. Might have been the play. Key. Got key. Okay, let's get this equipment. I think. No, this is not equipment. This is an ability. Hmm. Orbs or splinters? I think splinters. I only tried it once last time. Let's give it a fair shake. But we are going straight to the well master. Um. Yeah, attack speed. Cleric is magician. You're back. Please free me from this cursed place. Quick, the shadows are closing in. That's weird, dude. He totally knew my name. Knew my name. Anyway, let's go over here and get another ability scroll. Or, I think the first one's an ability, and I think the second one is an upgrade. We'll see. Uh, regen was probably the play there. But more range never hurts. But that is Wellmaster. So check that off the list. And is that for Radiant Aura? I know it's a damage with magic. I don't know how much. So we'll see. Or it might be with cleric. It's either magic or with cleric. It's one or the other. Checking recording. Looks good. Let's go with attack speed. I gotta say, the early rounds were kind of shaky, but I'm feeling better now. So that means we're either gonna have a torment of enemies, or I'm actually gonna feel good about this round. Let's see what happens. And then we'll go for the magnet after we grab this scroll. There, these enemies look strong, but they're, they're going down. That's interesting. So I might have, I might be scaling, I might be scaling faster than them, that's really cool. Uh, Multi-strike. Every time, every time. Now we have a boss. We'll see which comes first. The boss or the scroll. Looks like the boss and Ow. Yep, that's... Wow. Um, well, we got the well. So what I think I'm going to do is unlock Radio Aura. So I'm going to choose Cleric again. But I'm going to... Uh, well, first of all, I'll see what he has to say. You've earned my deepest gratitude. For the rescue, of course. And since we've made such a great team down there, I have a proposition for you. Proceed. This well has dried up long time ago. Now it leads to the very halls you helped me escape. But if you ever happen to find the other end, you might want to drop a trinket into the bucket. Then I hoist it up and make it available to you up here. What do you say? Fair enough. Uh, so basically, if you have any armor, you can drop it into the well and then you can get it back up here for a small fee. And I think this is already my equipment. 
So I could have, I don't know if he unlocked equipment for me or I just had this and didn't know about it, but that's cool. I have equipment now. Mm. Do I already have boots? Yes. What are my boots? Movement speed. These are defense. This is defense health. Yeah, that sounds good. And basically no gold. I don't think I can buy anything. No. So let's just go back into level one, which is Haunted Caverns. And see if we can get Radiant Aura. Once we get Radiant Aura and level up some equipment or get some get some better equipment, then we'll go uh, finish Ember Grounds. But yeah, this game, it's like, um, I don't know. It's like bullet hell, but just like walking simulator. And it's just dopamine rush every time you get a level. It's just amazing. Uh, let's go area. Oh, and a decision maker simulator. Uh, pick up range. No, pick up range looks pretty good. Let's go with range. And I already can tell the difference with the base upgrades and the equipment. Just feels way better than if you remember like the first time I played uh, Haunted Caverns. This feels way better. Uh, let's go with crit bonus. I think, yeah. But that also means it's slightly embarrassing if I don't win. So we'll see. See if we can get a piece of equipment to put in the well. For, I think um, one of the main bosses definitely gives equipment. Let's go with magic damage. And I don't think I've unlocked Radiant Aura yet, but I won't really know until I get an ability scroll with it on it. So that's a wait and see kind of thing. There's definitely a way to know. I just don't want to look it up right now. Well, oh, that pickups, uh, pickup distance is really good. Oh, cool. These are one shots now. Uh, let's see. I think range. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know if this main attack with like the cone is considered magic or not. It should be. Because this is a cleric. It just is extremely similar to the swordsman is kind of why I say that. Oh, wow, he went down to like he's almost uh, down. Uh, I think orbs. I think I like orbs more. I kind of gave the splinters their chance and maybe an unfair one. So we'll see. I might give them another chance at some point. Okay, uh, definitely strength. So at this point, I'm pretty much outscaling them. Radiant Aura. Check it off the list. There's Radiant Aura. So now the only thing left on the list 
is to be the Ember Grounds. And that's going to take some doing. That is going to take some doing. But I think we got it. It's going to take maybe three, four attempts. We'll see. The Radiant Aura is so high. Uh, let's see. Is Radiant Aura Force? I think it is. I'd have to confirm that when I'm done. I'm really not sure. Hmm. At this point, the magnet... Well, the magnet might do something in a while, but right now my pickup range is so good that the magnet's not even going to do that much. Um... Orbs or base base area? I think base area is better. Yeah, I think base area is better. Though I do need to upgrade the orbs soon. Uh, not quite a farm yet, but it's going all right. Uh, damage, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't need the area on that. It's kind of um, a less on the defense kind of thing. It's not it's my primary attack. So it doesn't have to extend that far. Uh, I guess I'm heading toward the magnet, even though I don't really know what it's going to do right now. I guess force. I don't really need pickup range. Maybe region. Let's do region. Just as a preparation. So it looks like I found a magnet. You know, like I thought, it didn't really do much. Uh, attack speed. But that's good. That means my pickup is uh, doing its job and I'm having the levels of having to wait for them. Uh, strength oh, or multi strike? Tough call. I'm going to go multi strike. Very tough call. Uh, the also, also, the last time I recorded, I didn't use the uh, pop filter, and I didn't really like the way that sounded. It kind of sounded echoey, so I'm going to see how it sounds with the pop filter. And of course, um, I basically always use the pop filter, so that makes, uh, it should sound like normal. Alright, let's see if I can... Oh, just absolutely shredding through his health. Wow. Strength and first piece of equipment. Okay, let's go with... Let's go with Copper Ring. And I do need to weld that, but I don't need to weld that yet. So I'm going to wait until near the end, and then I'm going to put that in the well. So basically, the uh, pro con, um, when you have it on, you have this bonus, so I have the crit bonus. However, I um, can't have it as a permanent item until I put it in the well. Of course, once I put it in the well, I can't use it. So you kind of want to wait until you absolutely uh, are sure you're going to win. Uh, so pretty much the last minute or so, I'm going to put it in the well. Unless you want to be extremely safe, and that's just put it in the well now, but I think that's unnecessary. Uh, more radiant. 
an aura. And that line of defense is looking better and better. This isn't quite a standstill build yet, but it's getting there. Okay. Crit chance or damage? I think damage. Just stay ahead of the curve at all times. If you're not one shot and you're not trying hard enough, right? Maybe the Magnus a little bit better now. I haven't been paying that close attention. I think the, the pull is still really good though. Let's see. Yeah, attack speed. I might... I might well the ring once I get one more piece of equipment. But not until then. I guess the other argument is the other item I get will be better than the ring. And I might want to weld that instead. So I suppose there's two arguments for not for not whaling it early. Oh, I do not like the shields. Oh yeah, I also moved the camera because I didn't know that buffs or whatever appeared right there on the screen and I was kind of blocking it with the camera so sorry about that um, let's do some crit chance but it's fixed now so hopefully Yeah, overall this seems to be going well, but I have already beaten the Haunted Cavern, so it's not as great of an accomplishment. I'm also not sure if I'm going to be using the Cleric um, more. So I used the Cleric to get the uh, Radiant Aura, but I don't know if I'm going to keep using the Cleric or not. At each end of the Blood Trail, they've piled up what remained of his victims. Two morbid shrines, both bearing a fragment of an unholy relic. Unearthing them would require a dire sacrifice. But once reunited... So what is this sacrifice we're talking about? Hmm. That's obscure. I didn't really figure out how to get the um, the emerald or ember stone. I forget exactly what it was, but I was supposed to get that and the ember grounds. We're, we're basically going right back. So we'll see if we can do that on the next time. I'm not really sure what that does. Let's go movement speed. Oh, sweet. Just shredding bosses. Which, this dude is like, barely a boss, but still. Uh, Phantom Needles. I think that is my favorite. Radiant Aura is really good, but I think Phantom Needles are still my favorite. Just does so much damage. Or at least it feels like it does, I don't really know. I need to look at the DPS. Um, let's see, attack speed. Yeah, they just, well, I have the fast buff on right now, but it's still, the Phantom Needles are just going nuts, it's great. Let's 
Did I pass the magnet? I did. Uh, Radiant Aura. I'll try to get back over there. Kind of difficult. Uh, let's see. Yep, Radiant or Phantom Needles. Maybe should have waited on that, but yeah. Uh, yep, more Phantom Needles. I'm kind of ignoring the orbs, but the orbs are just kind of there. They're not like doing that much anyway. Uh, magic. Are the Phantom Needles magic? Probably not. But I think the Radiant Aura is... Mm, more pickup? Or more health? I think more pickup. Cool, finally feels good at this point. I usually feel underpowered, so that feels cool. All right, um, I guess I'll finally do orbs. Unless, yeah. So we have slightly faster orbs now. Uh, strength. All right, and more orbs. Is it time to stand still? Not quite. But I still got like a couple levels out of that. Or one. Damage. Yeah, let's see. Regen for later? I think regen for later. Stay ahead of the curve, but prepare for the worst, right? I think that's right. Movement speed, same. Same idea. Even more Radiant Aura. Yeah, it's a tiny circle. But it is a powerful tiny circle. Oh, that's... Okay, the pickup got it. It's like, that's me. I'm putting it right into the poison water. This dude's health is just getting shredded right now. Uh, let's see. Orbs? Let's go orbs. Ouch. Got you. Okay, what are you gonna give me? 3% damage for each in enemy in your pickup range. That sounds really good. My pickup range is enormous. Yeah. So that is the item I'm gonna put in the well. But uh, let's hold out. 
That sounds amazing. Uh, let's see. Range equals attack, right? Range equals attack. That feels so cool. I wonder how much that item is. Probably like eight grand or something. Um, yeah. Get a little bit of health. Regen was probably the right decision, but yeah. I think it should survive right now. I don't think there's any goals I can go for. More needles or more orbs? At this point, I think more orbs. Because I think the orbs are finally starting to do something. It's like the needles are good uh, solo, the orbs are good group, and I think group is what I need right now. Uh, let's see, yeah, probably more needles though. Needles are still good. That's really where the orb shine is the shields. Yeah, but I need to increase my pickup range so my attack extends further. A weird statement, but I hold uh, hold by it. Let's get more orbs. It's five million magic damage. Another ability. It might be. I'd still have to wait and see on a scroll to really know. Um, do I go the well? Not yet. Damage, attack speed, radius, yes please. Sometimes you just get lost in this game. Like in the best way possible. Wow. Uh, let's see. Fragile Affliction. Probably Force. Yeah, it looks really scary until you remember that the Radiant Aura is 
basically strongest right next to me. Still taking some hits, admittedly. Yeah, let's do base regen. It kind of feels like a standstill moment, but it feels like I need maybe a little bit more attack speed for that to work. Punitive light. Uh, or electrified orbs. I think at this point, the electrified orbs is better. I don't know, that doesn't apply to the Electrified Orbs. Uh, maybe area for base attack is better here. Yeah, I might consider going to the well soon. Because I really don't want to lose that item. And I don't think I will, but eh. I don't want to risk that. More Radiant Aura. Gotta say though, this build is doing some damage. Yeah, magnet might be nice. I think I'm leaving behind quite a lot. straight to the well now. Um, yeah, Phantom Needles. That saves me a lot of time. Being really careless right now. Okay, maybe that'll give me a chance to heal up. Uh, let's see, 20% regen. It's taking hit after hit, but they're not doing much damage. to the well. I might pause and take on the boss. Then again, that might sound like the worst idea. I feel confident I can beat him though. Might be a better piece of equipment. I highly doubt it. Uh, magic damage. Oh, 
Let's see. Attack speed. Block speed. So I'm going to take the attack speed, probably. My guides. Pick up range. I'm not going to equip it. I'm just going to take it, but like... I'm going to well the uh, the headpiece. Is it a crown? I don't know. Past the well. Okay. Oh, it's actually a um, keychain, I guess, or necklace. Send item. That was, that means I'm worse, but that means I can get it permanently. So overall net win. Recording still good. No, I hit a magnet. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Movement speed. Say more orbs, some crit stuff. So I have the orbs as the um, first line of defense, and I have the aura as the last line, and the base attacks are and everything are in the middle. It feels pretty good. Uh, Phantom needles are almost first line. Phantom needle um, has a really good range. Yeah, right now I need orbs more than ever, so that's good. It's a lot of damage. Uh, strength. Let's give me some more damage. Attack speed might have been the play. Yeah, the more I think about it, I think attack speed was the play there. Because I'm already doing enough damage, I'm just not doing them fast enough. Attack speed, yeah. Better needles. Yeah, I really wish I had that attack speed now. I don't think this extra attack is doing that much. No, I hit a magnet. Okay, 
Alright, um... Probably range. Kind of a weak magnet. Three minutes. I might like a little bit more health. This should be fine. Yeah, I think one on health defense probably just for the final boss. Our regen is doing really well though, so that's good. So orbs did um, 1.5 mil. That's cool. I don't. I didn't read if that was this run or total. Ooh, better aura. I like that. If I can get close to the final boss, it's just gonna shred. Probably wasted that health potion. I think that's what that was. One minute. Wonder if I'm gonna have enough gold. Uh, definitely aura. Wonder if I'm gonna have enough gold for the necklace because I want to buy that immediately. Ideally, I have enough gold for the necklace and uh, pickup range, and just like max out the pickup. Ten seconds. Two, one, final boss time. Wow, it's doing so much damage. It's like actually doing so much damage, that's crazy. Being careless, but his, his health bar is just melting, dude. Look at that. Phase two already. Just absolutely knife through butter melted. GG, bruh. Not even close. That was such a good round. Uh, not that much gold. So I probably don't have enough for the necklace. Um, 
Honestly, cleric is doing some work. I think I'm gonna stick as cleric. A grand. Uh, see you soon. To the Ember Grounds. Recording still looks good. And let's just go for these um, ability scrolls immediately. Attack speed. But that's cool to know that the next time, unless I completely choke, I should have that necklace. And then some. So, hopefully I can get some um, pick up alongside it. I doubt I'll find a piece of equipment in here better than that, but it's possible. Mm, let's go area. My base pickup is pretty good, so I don't really need to increase it yet. Uh, I would if I had the necklace, but only if I had the necklace on. Let's go. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, let's go and go pick up. See if I can get some early levels out of it. I think I'm too weak to stand still right now. Mm, too much pickup. Uh, let's go crit bonus. Excuse me. Damage. <coughs> See what this ability scroll has. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just dying. Anyway. Don't you hate that? I'm sure everybody has it. You drink something, and you feel like it goes down the wrong pipe. It sucks. That one wasn't as bad. I kind of caught it, but still. Hmm. So yeah, level, uh, Ember Grounds is way harder. Because this, or, well, it's barely upgraded. That's better. But yeah, the uh, super upgraded aura was just shredding the final boss of uh, Haunted Caverns. Uh, attack speed. Hmm, I wonder if I get a well item or a uh, piece of equipment from here, one of these two bosses. Uh, let's go rain and movement speed. Strength. I don't really have any permanent upgrades since the last time I tried, but I do have Radio Aura, and that is definitely not nothing. That was so much damage. Give me some regen. Wow, that, hmm. Unacceptable. Ah, help please. I don't know what's happening right now. I think I need some more attack or something.
attack speed is good enough. Base health was a consideration, but I think overall I don't need to pad myself with health. I need to actually increase my damage. I just had to get myself out of a tough spot. Uh, Radiant Aura. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes! <sighs> that feels better. Uh, orbs seem to do really well last time. Let's do some orbs again. And we'll go with magic damage. It's already cold. I completely forgot about it, but it's still not bad. Coffee, by the way. Not as great as if I would have remembered it 30 minutes ago, but you know. I see it at this point, like an hour. Um, let's go strength. So I feel better about Amber Grounds than I did about Haunted Caverns in the last episode, so maybe... Maybe I can beat this within a few tries, but it seems hard. I think that necklace is gonna help. Let's go orbs. Uh, damage main weapon, that was probably the play. I hate regrets. But once again, this is decision maker decision maker simulator. Ugh. Words. Uh, let's go. At this point, probably pick up range. Like, it's good, but it could still be better. I need to scale my damage, though. I almost don't have the damage to justify the pickup range. There's a magnet, but I don't think I have enough flying around for the magnet yet. Okay, the radio ore is saving me a hit there. And yeah, we should stick around and finish this boss. This is where I died last time. I don't remember. I don't think so. He's being melted way too- oh, it was. Wow, that radio ore did some work. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the Warlock item. This is basically the more health you lose, the more damage you have. And at the moment, that's the best choice. I don't know if it's specifically for Warlock in this game, but I come from a Hearthstone background and that's very Warlock. I hate that game, by the way. It's just way too expensive. Has nothing to do with the gameplay. Hearthstone is so much fun. Way too expensive. Moving on, let's see if we can get this ability scroll. Orbs. Okay. 
so it's interesting right because i have the necklace i'm almost considering taking hits but i'm pretty sure that's like a self-solving problem so when i get hit i gain strength and that is good because if i'm getting hit i'm obviously not doing enough damage so it's it's a really good item actually it kind of it's a self-solving problem item it doesn't really help you when you're full health. And Kipsy's meowing for me. Yeah, she's used to having head scratches and whatever whenever she wants. So. Yeah, she wants attention. Oh. See, what did I say? 22. Oh, okay. So I died real early last time. Now there's a boss somewhere. Where is he? Oh, wow. That's so many things. Um... At this point, regen. Eh, is this better? I think this is... Mm, yeah, this is better right now. My base regen is actually pretty good. Um, I kind of want to stay and beat him. Is he following me? Just so many things. Uh, Phantom Needles. Phantom Needles would be great right now. Uh, let's go damage. And see what this scroll is. More orbs. I don't think I like Transfiction. Summons additional orbits lane. So is that like... More orbs? Because I can... I go down from... Uh, bleh. I am down for more orbs. Words are hard, guys. Anyway, let's... Health defense? Probably range. I'm not sure if range is item specific. I think range and force and area are all item specific. So I think range is not as good. So I'm thinking like base range in a game, but like I don't think I have any items that use base range. So I probably shouldn't use it. Mm. Do I have force? I'm trying to remember what force is. I'm pretty sure area is what I have. So I should choose stuff of area, but not necessarily force. But I really don't know. Pick up a save. I should really look into the uh, the attack, what you call it, uh, categories. I can get her back around there eventually. Uh, so area would be what I choose, but I think multi-strike is better. Uh, needles. But needles might be range. So I might have just saved it. I'm pretty sure needles are range. Uh, attack speed. I wonder what orbs are. Would that be force? Because I don't think it would be area. So my guess would be force or maybe magic. I don't know. Mm, more orbs or more speed. More speed. More. I have no idea where that's from, but I've heard it a million times. If that's like a classic movie, I'm sorry. I watch like niche stuff. 
Um, I say that, but I've seen basically all the big shows. No, oh, don't mind me. I'm just a hipster edge lord over here. I I only say that half sarcastically. Um, Radiant Aura. bring it up but um, after that comment I guess I'll bring it up so I have my um, the playlist I have music playlist I actually listen to on a near daily basis public on my channel if you're interested and yes it is as weird as I am it's designed to be listened to on shuffle If you know an underground niche song that you like that nobody's ever heard of, let me know. Because that is totally what I'm into. Um, I think pickup range. Actually, I want to win. I think pickup range wins. Health is... Hmm, health might have been the right decision. I think I want to go ahead and weld this um, necklace. I'm going to have two necklaces to pick from, but they're both really good. So I think I want to go ahead and weld it before I die, because I don't know how much longer I can last on this level. This is as far as I've gotten. And I ain't trying to curse the run or anything, but I am trying to not lose that. Excuse me, lose that item. Um, I think more Radiant Aura. Radiant Aura is so good. It really is. And so far, I haven't had that many of the uh, shrink. Shrink the radius, so it's a pretty big aura right now. My aura is so large, you guys. You just don't even know how large my aura is. Did that sound pretentious enough? That's what I was going for. I was going for hyper pretentious. Uh, let's go magic damage. Now nah, orbs. Definitely orbs. And here's the well. And let's go necklace. Yeah. Say necklace. Now, I have not seen this process. I imagine the well keeper has both items. I hope so. It's either that or the item overwrites, which would suck. If the item overwrites, I would be really disappointed. But that's still a pretty good necklace. What is this? Oh, I can't interact. So this is giving me a little bit more encouragement for finishing the Ember Grounds. So I'm like uh, 14 minutes in and I don't feel strained at all, which is great. So because I do want to finish, finish this and hopefully in less than two hours, because as much as I want to play for three hours, I don't want to upload a three hour video and it takes three days again. So it has nothing to do with wanting to play and everything to do with upload time. Let's go with area. Yeah, this this is feeling pretty good now. I think I finally got a good combination of strength and whatnot. So it actually feels good. Um, probably force. 
I would be much making much more educated decisions if I knew which category every weapon was in, but I don't. See if I can get that ability scroll. Gonna have to make my way around here. Hmm, the attack speed is pretty good. Taking so much unnecessary damage, and they are protecting it well, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. Units of light. Okay, so that was the one that's like an extension of the um, aura that uh, that causes fragile and affliction. I'm not really sure what that does, but that's better than splinters. So let's go for it. Uh, yeah, more radiant aura. So now I'm making making it smaller, but more powerful. But I have two sets of orbs, so the smaller doesn't matter that much. Now I don't have the necklace, so I do want to stay at full health. Let's go needles. But there is a definite reason to want to be what, what you call in Pokemon Red Bar, like really low health for that item. But I already welded, so full health is just as good as any other. Speaking of, probably regen, because I actually want to win. And if I could just like win here, that would be that would be cool. If I do, then I will definitely buy the necklace before ending. Because I plan on buying the necklace regardless after this round. Let's go. Orbs damage. The first one if possible, but if it somehow overrotes, then I'll buy the second one. But yeah, I felt pretty weak going in, but this is feeling good until that boss. That boss just like shredded my health. Uh, let's go movement speed. That was what I was lacking there. Yikes. I just can't dodge that. Got him. Whew. Uh, let's see. Crit bonus. Yeah, let's go crit bonus. Uh, let's see. 13 minutes. Uh, attack speed. Regen was a consideration there because if that boss was doing that much damage. There's probably another one that's gonna be even worse, but I think attack speed takes care of that. Maybe better than Regen. Regen is kind of preparing for the worst, but I can maybe prevent the worst from happening with attack speed. don't know what's causing all the things at the bottom of the screen. Let's go phantom needles. Oh, I see you. Can I hit you without dying? Maybe? It's kind of close. I think the orbs are getting him. In phase two, I guess. Sweet, so much damage. What was that, 12? I'm gonna wait for this to dissipate a little bit. Just kidding, let's go. Um, strength. Yikes. They didn't really do that much damage, but that was just super scary.
Okay, what we got? Phantom Split. Okay, that's that's everything I want. That is just everything I want. More damage in the needles, and they are um, they split. That's just perfect. That, that was my one issue with the needles. It was the only one I think. Um, as much as I want to do the aura here, I think the needles is better. Operating that is better because of the upgrade I just got. This feels so good. So I still have 11 minutes to go, so not a guaranteed win by any stretch of the imagination, but this build feels like it can go the distance. I haven't seen the uh, final boss, so we'll see. But it's pretty much just shredding through the mobs. That's great. And let's go with... At this point, crit chance, probably. Just have so many needles all the time, so crit chance could help out. Mostly on bosses. Because I think they're, everybody's just one-shotted or pretty close to being one-shot. So mostly just a boss selection there. I seem to be getting some passive gold, so that's good. Uh, I see. So the camera's actually blocking the gold now. So I'm going to move that up a little bit. Much better. And, uh, okay. Let's go with um, orbs. I think orbs are actually doing the most right now. Um, that being said... I don't want to slack on Aura. Aura is doing too much work to slack on. But orbs were definitely a consideration, and that might have actually been the wrong call on my end. But that just, wow. Just absolutely melted. I really don't like these Final Fantasy blobs. Uh, I know, uh, what, what are they called? There, there's one that's called a flan, and there's one that's called a bomb. I'm trying to remember which one. These remind me of. At this point, pickup range, probably. Just never rely on magnets. I mean, I don't see any Magnus anyway, so that seems like a good call. Yeah, climbing up on nine minutes. It's better than I thought this run would go. Really was. I, I almost uh, saw this as a throwaway run to get the necklace, but hey, this run is actually going. So I'm just gonna let it go. Yeah, dumb decision. Right. Um, orbs definitely. Stack Dora was a good call too, but at this point, I want to kind of keep them even, and I just upgraded the aura, so I think orbs. sure if it upgrades all six or not but that would be really cool if it did i haven't been able to like stand still at all yet but i have a feeling 
that with a few more upgrades going back to level one or the haunted caverns i think i'm just like in standstill mode which is awesome uh let's go with force probably i think i have some force weapons a little bit tougher but I'm still feeling pretty good about this build coming up on seven minutes at this point I do think I do aura rather than attack speed just because I think I want more group defense than individual defense the um, the phantom needle is going to be my boss slayer but Right now, I think I need to survive mobs more than I need to be thinking about bosses. But yeah, upgrading all three is just doing really well. Um, orbs or uh, needles. Speak, I'll just go ahead and upgrade the needles. I don't know if it's actually doing as much damage as I think it is, but the needles just feel great. And I'm kind of surprised by the orbs as well. Hmm. Crit bonus? Range, definitely range. Make sure my most powerful weapon is hitting things first. Um, needles being my most powerful weapon is debatable. I'd actually have to look at the DPS to confirm that. I imagine that the most powerful is actually the aura, but I'm really not sure. not something I really want to check right this second. If it gives me a way to check after this round, I will. Uh, let's see. Range, probably. Not quite at five minutes yet, but we're getting close. Oh. I do not like this boss. It's like the worst version of Phalanx possible. And Phalanx is a cool Pokemon. Radiant Aura is doing so well right now. This doesn't seem to be the most difficult boss though. I'm having more trouble dodging the mob than um, doing damage to the boss. Uh, yeah, more radiate aura, please. See if I can clear out this space around me. Yikes. That's a lot of health lost. I think I can survive this, but I need to be more careful. I can't get overwhelmed. He does not want to go down those, uh, that last little bit of health. right there got you worm queen um more crit chance or physical damage do i do physical damage i think i'm mostly magic so let's do crit chance 
And since I want to take a drink, let's go ahead and see if I can go through the DPS. Oh, I see. Uh, so yeah, Needles. Needles is absolutely doing the most damage. So, confirmed. It seemed like the aura was um, underperforming, but I like it. It's kind of like a jacket. It's like a um, little line of protection, I guess. And the low damage on the aura might be because the orbs and the needles are doing all the damage. That might be code. I don't know. Uh, yeah, needles. And we're coming up on three minutes. And I would be a little bit surprised if this finished, but I'm not going to turn it down. No, I mean, a win is a win. And if this wins, I'll take it. I kind of want... Did I just get a magnet? So I was thinking, like, I kind of want a magnet just to see what's on the field. But then again, I might have already just picked everything up because... Uh, let's go orbs. Because my pickup range is so good. Uh, double damage. Okay, that felt like a scary mob, but because of the double damage, I'm cool. Um, you know what? I think region is going to be my best friend here. So let's do region because we're coming up on a few minutes. So I'm going to basically, I think I have enough strength. I think region, movement speed are going to be my best friend. So let's do that. Okay, so that's said two minutes. That was almost a standstill part. I didn't really trust it. Uh, yeah, let's do movement speed. Because I think getting out of a tight spot and being able to heal is probably my most important end game. Um, I could stack attack more, but I get swarmed by an attack and it doesn't matter how much attack I have, I cannot survive long enough. So I think movement speed and regen are more important than extra attack for the final boss. Um, but this boss might be different than the first level. I haven't seen it. So I just think as a general rule, that's true, but we'll see. Um, extra 20% regen, I think, is the play. And we're right at a minute now. So I would consider this the end game. So I just basically have to survive until I see the final boss and then do my best. But this is looking pretty good. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's do base health. That's the I don't trust this move because I don't trust this. I did not think I was going to make it to the final boss this fast. And I do not trust this. So I think that's base health is the right decision. Six. Uh, 
aura. Definitely aura. Okay, here we go. Let the needles do their job, and the needles do be doing their job. Dooby dooby doo ba. Parry the plot of us. Wow, this boss actually feels easier than the first one, which is odd. What? You kidding me? That's it? What do you mean that's it? That was so underwhelming compared to the first boss. But uh, let's go buy this necklace and I'm gonna call it there. Um, clerk. Sweet. So, bye. Um, let's see, how do you equip? Profile new. How do you equip? Collar. And I don't think I can do anything with these. I think I like my build better. Yeah, sweet. And uh, let me just make sure. Three plus damage for each enemy in your pickup range. So what you're telling me is I increase my pickup range. And I think... 25 attack range, maybe? Um, what am I using? I'm using Cleric. So I think Cleric would be area. Do I have another one? No. All right, so I'm going to call it there. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. Have a good one.